Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to harvest as much as we can out of the garden. It's been super, super rainy here in upstate New York, so the chicken run is getting quite muddy. So I would like to get the girls out into the garden um, a lot earlier than I normally would because at least out here in the garden, it's uh, it's sunnier, so d things tend to dry a little bit better in between the raindrops. But they have a muddy mess in there, and I want them to get to work out here. So I need to do my part and get things uh, harvested before they annihilate everything. So if you can hear them in the background, I have a lot of laying hens right now. So they're uh, most of them are still pullets, um, but I want to give them a job to do. So chickens love to work so if I give them all this area in the jungle to take care of for me like it is just getting to the point where it's hard to walk through here now and I'm gonna get the tomatoes out the carrots out today um, a bunch of the peppers as much as I can in the next couple days so I can get them set up to come out here and do their job and they'll love it out here they'll get a lot of sunshine and they'll have places to hide because it is a jungle and that way they can get to work and eat everything eat all the plants eat all these weeds and then i'll uh, figure out what to do for next year right it's always a learning curve Ooh. There's squash over there. Yeah, so we're getting little remnants of stuff left, so I'm gonna go through. The tomatoes are coming on really well, super, super late this year, but let's see what we got. I'm gonna put you in time warp so you can see what I do. Okay, so I got all the carrots out and uh, not a bad haul. I got two three gallon buckets and uh, I don't think it's too bad for the weather that we've been having. Everything is super, has been super, super rainy and uh, carrots are a root vegetable. So they do not like to be in super wet soil. So I'm honestly pretty happy with what I've gotten. The rest of these weeds, I'm going to let them go. I actually, the raspberries that came and dominated everything, uh, they're starting to grow a lot of raspberries. So I'm going to leave everything like this because the chickens will find their way through all this stuff and have a great time. So at least I got the bed cleaned out and then we're off to picking tomatoes. And um, all the tops that I took off from these carrots, I'm throwing them in with the chickens because they can eat all that. And that's uh, less feed that they will eat. I'll show you that.
warm out, uh, but I almost have a five gallon pail of Roma tomatoes picked. I still have to go to the other side. I have a lot of cherry tomatoes left and I don't know what I have for bigger tomatoes. I can't really see them. So I guess I need to get another bucket. <laughs> Okay, so I picked a lot today. I have to go take care of my bread here soon. So I got two three gallon buckets of carrots The squash I ended up with a whole ton. There's not a, a lot of regular peppers in here. These are all jalapenos <laughs> So I will actually put them in small uh, Bags and put them in my freezer and then these are the tomatoes. So I think it did pretty good pretty well. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm excited to get the chickens out here. Oh, the bugs are really bad. You know what happens when the rain comes. Then comes the bugs. Let's go check the chickens out. Now we have a whole bunch of... Oh, they don't like my hat. Sorry about the hat hair. I don't like that. Uh, we have a ton of laying girls now, which is great. Hi. Are you letting the girls lay eggs? You gotta let all the girls lay some eggs. There's one of the babies. Hello, little baby. Oh, you're so skittish still. Makes me sad. Hello. So these are the carrot tops. Uh, they're very, very good for the chickens. So I uh, put them in three different piles so nobody's fighting. Everybody fights over everything, huh? You have plenty of food, I promise you. But uh, yeah, everybody is uh, doing great. I see it's pretty, pretty wet. I've been turning this over. I'm gonna start digging this up because this is all compost, like eight inches underneath here. Tons and tons of worms in here. And I'm gonna dig some up and start putting it in the beds as I take stuff out and harvest stuff. and. Let the girls do their job here soon. I can't wait. So I have some bread in the oven. I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna try a couple of different things, some bagels and some French baguettes that I need. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well, but before we go, we're gonna collect some eggs. Look at some of these beauties. Mm, some of the new girls are laying eggs in the little house. <gasps> Look at my olive acres. Aren't they so pretty? So nice and beautiful. And I didn't really realize that not all olive acres lay green eggs. Hello. Hello. We have a couple more. So I know that my gray muffed olive acres. <gasps> Well, hello, pretty. I'm dying to find out what color egg you lay. This is my uh, brown olive egger, and she does not have muffs. And I'm dying to find out what color. Hello, hello, do you have anything under you? Yes, thank you very much, I'll take that. Ah, there's this pink one. It's hard to see in this light, but it's almost like a pinky color. And it's not you. Yep, feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna give you some privacy. Stay tuned for what color egg she lays. That has been like the best part about these olive acres. I'm trying to figure out what color eggs they lay. It's pretty cool. And since everybody's laying, we're really trying to <laughs> find more places for them to lay because everybody tries to get this nesting box. So I put this nesting box in and now they're messy. Oh, there's a white one. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Little one. See, now they're getting in here. Go find a box. You're all right. Go for it. I have a, a, a not real egg, a ceramic egg. And look at it. They don't like it. They kick it out of the box. Oops. Uh, they kick it out of the box and they are bozos. But this is one from one of the babies. This is, I have... Let's see, four and four is eight. I have eight um, smaller leghorns, newer leghorns. They're younger. So, so now I have 11 leghorns, so I should get 11 white eggs a day, someday. But um, I have a couple of my older chickens that have become 
egg eaters mm, very frustrating I maybe have to switch over to like the roll away nest boxes but for now I'm just going to uh, keep collecting throughout the day so they don't eat them because they make a mess make a mess everywhere but we've got lots of eggs coming and everybody's happy and we're gonna keep going with stuff with bread we're gonna um, process all the vegetables that I picked out of the garden today and I'm super excited so follow along and stay tuned and as always from my coop to yours thank you for growing with me so I can grow with you